So what have been some of the tackling details you guys have been working on coming off of that last game? Coach Riley kind of emphasized that earlier this week. Yeah, I mean, it's the same details we always practice. Um, you know, the, the big thing is is making sure that guys understand that, you know, a play that's finished without you making a tackle should should feel like a surprise to you. I mean, that, that, that creating that mindset amongst 11 guys on the field, you know, that you're not going to be the extra one. Uh, there's some frustrating moments, you know, you get the ball completed in front of you and then it turns into an explosive play against you. Well, that, that's obviously bad ball. And so we got to make sure that our anticipation, if we're in zone coverage or, or man coverage, uh, that, as we say, our spot's a starting point. If I'm dropping to a spot, that's just that's not where I finish the play. I'm going to finish on a ball carrier and or with the football. There's, there's only two options. There's not a third version of a football play where you're not needed. Uh, and so we we just got to make sure that, that you know we, every, every single snap that we take um, that that there's a an approach about us that says we have to make a play on that down. The ball should never surprise us. Whether it's thrown in my man, whether it's thrown in my zone, uh, or if I'm needed in the run game in a, in a particular gap. So no, the the emphasis doesn't change. Um, you know, could, could it be in, in some cases it, it becomes a little bit more. Um, uh, of, of uh, a real, you know, a realism to the guy now because he's, he's missing on national television and we didn't get the outcome that we wanted. You know, that maybe some of his coaching points were real, um, and, and you, you hate to think you're going to learn in, in some of those environments that way that uh, you couldn't get done on the practice field in the first six games. But um, no, the, the tape's the tape, and so we got to make sure that uh, we do a better job coaching. Did you feel like the guys were where they needed to be on that two-point conversion play? Is that kind of an example of what you're talking about? Yeah, or? I mean, you, you, you do a good job in coverage. That's what you're going to buy. That, that can't surprise us, you know. And one of the things we talk about in defensive front, and this isn't new, is you can't rush past the quarterback, you know. So that's part of it, you know. So you got to decide: are you going to cover people or not cover people? And we you cover and do a nice job that way. And then you got some other. Then, then once he obviously breaks uh, the line of scrimmage, then it's all hands on deck, and eleven guys going to and uh, missed an opportunity there, you know. And, uh, Obviously, a good, good player at quarterback, and it's three yards. So, you know, if, if he's got a, a clean path there, you try to cover the front so he can't, you know, get vertical on you as fast as he was able to. So, a lot of things to, to learn from in that. Obviously, a missed opportunity for us. You guys have been really good at uh, creating sacks, none yeah. last week. Yeah. What were some of those uh, things that led to kind of that number? Yeah, I mean, I think credit goes to the opponent. They did a nice job. Um, you know, that, that's you got to start there when it's true. Right? And I think in this case, it certainly was quality opponent. And Utah does a good job, and they have for a long time uh, from an offensive standpoint and, and, and that staff from a, an O-line standpoint. And then you look at it, you know, where there's opportunities that, that we missed. You know, we're, we're in the backfield where we're going to click late. You know, the film suggests there's several instances where we're click late, which then means you've got to do a better job on the back end, uh, you know, make, making sure that you make that quarterback hold it on for, you know, we're talking fractions of a second in some instances. Um, and, and so no, it, it's, it's all 11 that, that create sacks. Um, you know, and, and that's obviously not 100% that true. As in, you know, some, sometimes it's just a, a singular effort and gets home. But you know, so often it's it's the extra effort on the front because you did such well, a good job on the back end. In some of those instances, you know, the ball, the ball comes out quick. Then if the ball comes out quick, we got to do a good job getting it tackled and uh, onto the next play. So um, no, it's a combination of those things. We we got to do a better job in coverage to to, to make the uh, the quarterback hold on to the football. And we got to make sure that we're winning some one on ones. Up. And we can't be okay just saying, oh, shucks, we're close. You know, we, we, we got to get there faster. It's just the, that's, that's the nature of it. When there's, when there's one guy, like the tight end was just kind of being yeah. How do you balance all out with him and, and kind of stay in with what you do? Well, you, you, you mix it. I mean, if you looked at it, there's their zone, and then they catch a four yard pass, and you got to go tackle it. When the four yard pass turns into 19, um, then there's, there's an issue. It doesn't matter who catches the football. You know, is he making people miss, or are we just not tackling them? And again, credit to that individual player because he does a real nice job. And then it's it's man coverage. Okay, well, we got to win a one-on-one. -on -one. And then it's two-man where you got safety help over top and a linebacker running with it. So it, it uh, if it was one thing, then you say, well, we shouldn't have done that one thing. If it's everything, then we got to look at it through the lens that we got to make sure that we, we win some of those battles. Uh, and some of that, again, let's go back to, to the 11-man football is we got to get home. You know, we can't allow the quarterback to, to put it on the money every single time. And he makes plays, and that, that's going to happen. But, but, but certainly the, the, the most frustrating ones are the ones that are caught in front of you. You know, you say, let me the game, go make a tackle, let's get this, go next snap. Um, and then and now it's first and 10, and it's, it's 20 yards on field. So that can't happen. You can't play good defense that way. And, and we understand that, and, and unfortunately we put it on tape, and, and, and we got the result uh, we got because of it. How have the guys done? 
handling all those points this week? Like, how, how has it looked this week in terms of what you... No, I think good. I mean, you know, what you can't do is you can't take 60, you know, whatever, 70-some odd, odd reps on, on on Saturday and then say all the reps the six game before didn't happen. I mean, that's just not the appropriate thing to do. However, we do believe in one-game evaluations. Okay, just stick to, was it good enough? No. Thumbs down. You know, what, what was the coverage good enough? No. Was the pass rush good enough? No. Um, and then we got to, you know, as, as coaches, you know, making sure that we put the, the, the onus back on us is from a preparation standpoint. Is there anything that way? And, and then, and you know, all you're trying to do is, is, is be better for it because the worst thing that can happen is obviously not get the outcome that you want. Um, say you're close and, and say, oh, we'll just be better next time. It's just that, that's that's not our approach. And so, um, but on the same token, we don't let's that, that's fire everybody on, on the field and let's start other people. And if you need to do that, you do that, obviously. But uh, let's change everything. No, there's there's some, some real instances where uh, we, we got guys in position. We got, okay, how can we help them make the play? You know, and so, um, no, it's, it's not time for panic mode. It's, it's also time to get Let's do one more. Did anything change for you post game? Like watching film? Did you watch film earlier after a tough loss yeah. like that, or yeah. did anything change? Immediately. <laughs> um, and they get us on our iPad, and now you're you're when, within the ten minutes. I got thing on your iPad. You watch that thing on the bus, it just because it stings. It burns, and you work your, your tail off, and these guys do, um, and, and the coaching staff does, and we understand the expectations of the USC. Um, and then we understand when we don't get the outcomes that we want, that, that it's, it's on us. And we take ownership in it as we tell the guys. If we own it, then we, can, we have a chance to, to do something about it. If we point fingers and make excuses or, or, or do the, well, maybe just maybe we were close or this should have happened. And, and, and so we, we feel better. We don't feel good right now. We don't. And then the, I guess the double-edged sword of a bye week is we don't have to feel good. Yet. We don't have to flip the script. We're not over it. We're competitors. That's just the way it is. But, um, but yeah, to your point, that, that – uh, but guess what? On the bus, it's too late, you know. Um, and so you uh, lick your wounds and uh, on to the next one.